Okay guys, we're gonna get out of the shop today and I'm gonna show you how to replace a, a window, a case, uh, window inside a casement. Uh, I put this window in about five years ago when I built the house and uh, what's happened is the seal's gone out of it so you can see it's fogged over. So glass isn't broken but it, no matter how hard you try and scrub you'll never get it cleaned because it's dirty on the inside. So this is a North Star window made in Canada. They have a 10 year warranty on them and there's a number on the very bottom right here where um, uh, it'll say the exact dimensions of it so you can call uh, any North Star supplier give them the number and they'll know exactly how big the window to make and uh, if it falls within 10 years they'll ship it to you for free. So what we can do is, uh, it's, it's a little strip that holds this window in so what you need is just some basic tools, a hammer and uh, a couple different pry bars. Now these, these little ones work really well um, just to get it underneath. A putty knife works to, to get started and you can pull it out with a screwdriver if you want to but I highly recommend one of these tools. So. Um, this is a very large window, um, can't make it any bigger. Uh, if your windows are smaller, it's going to be harder to get these strips out. Um, so you want to start in the, the longest run because the strip will bend the, the easiest. You just want to take that pry bar and just work a couple in there. There she goes. And you can see how the strip works. It's just a uh, little T that fits in a groove. So you really gotta be gentle but yet forceful in pulling those out. You wanna do this in warm weather. Don't do it when it's cold because everything's tight and contracted and better chances of breaking the plastic, breaking the window. The other pry bar was just a bit too big. Okay, now it becomes a two person job. One person is going to have to go on the outside. I, most of them don't have silicone all the way around, but they'll have silicone in random spots. So you got to push on the window and see where it's tight, and then take a knife or your pry bar and just kind of run it along the side and uh, uh, find the silicone and uh, break that seal. So pretty much at the top, I'm going to start putting my pry bar in. And you can just push on in the middle of the window, that's fine too, just keep it from falling. Might have just been that. Oh, here's one. Okay, top of it. Got her. You can see they only silicone it in a couple spots. There's one, there's two, and there's three and probably one on the bottom, but they don't rely on this to seal it. All they, they actually rely on that uh, the strip on the inside that we peeled off to seal it. Um, there, are, there are companies that are able to break the seal, they take the window out if it's past your warranty. Um, they pressurize it, they find the leak, fix the leak, suck it back, uh, suck everything out from the inside and fill it with argon again, I believe and uh, they're able to replace the windows because they are pricey. But this one's still under warranty, so we're gonna pop a new one in it. You wanna take a good quality knife and uh, just get rid of this old silicone. That'll do. These little blocks, I'm told, are just for transport purposes, for the vibration as it's in the truck going down the road and don't serve any other purpose, you can take them out. I'm gonna try and leave these in. So this is also a rubber seal on the outside. It also seals up against that on the window on the outside, plus a strip on the inside. So you can silicone it all the way if you want. It's uh, not needed because this is actually the seal that doesn't. Maybe if your windows are a lot older and that uh, strip is uh, worn, and this is the last time you'll ever do anything with it, I'm just gonna put a little, a couple dabs as it was. Lots of different kinds of make of silicone and caulking. Um, don't buy the cheapest $2 tube, spend $4 on a tube, spend uh, $5 on a tube for something like this. You don't want it to go hard, you don't want it to push on the window, and uh, for a couple bucks it's a cup of coffee, it's just spend a little extra. Okay, 
inside generally. Rule of thumb, stickers go on the inside and peel them off as soon as you can because that's stickiness. When the sun hits that, it's a real bugger to get it off. And then it's a matter of popping your strips right back in again, which is easier said than done. <laughs> these, uh, these little blocks are a pain if they stick out at all there's a little lip that uh, has to go in behind there and if there's anything sticking out at all it won't work these little blocks keep it from uh, keep it from letting you put the trim back in again just take a razor sharp knife Things are a bugger. Start with the corner. As soon as you get the corner in, then it goes okay. Man. Now we just have to wipe the blood off and clean the window and we're done. <laughs> that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.